I was watching your car. No, nobody harassed it. That's a DVD. It's got the biggest question in life on it. Was it church? Well, uh, it's it's ask uh, church related stuff, but not specifically about a church. And so, what people would call church stuff, it talks about the gospel and about God and Christ and why we need a savior. Sure, that's a good uh, good idea. Where some Sunday school for all age nine o'clock. Where is it? Is where is it? Is uh, where is it at? Yeah, Albert Lee. Albert Lee. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, you familiar with Albert Lee? Yeah. Yeah. You know where the old Walmart used to be at the Skyline Plaza? Yeah. Yeah, we're on the back side of the Skyline Plaza. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's okay. your name? Kevin. Kevin? Yeah. Nice to meet I'm you. I'm Todd. Nice to meet you. Nice uh, to meet you student here? Or? Yeah. I'm going to school here. Yeah. Um. So you guys have uh, Sunday school. Yep. And what time is your service? Ten thirty. Ten thirty. So before. Yep. School. Sunday school starts at nine, and the service starts at the worship service starts at ten thirty. Okay. Ten thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Probably I stop by. I have a long so, time. I haven't been in church. So can I ask? You, I know your car's running, and I don't want to keep you for too long. Sure. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What do you think? What does Kevin think happens to people when they die? What would happen to Kevin if he died? Oh, man. <laughs> don't ask me that. <laughs> uh, I know that it's a heaven and that it's a I don't know it's a war in English, uh, but um, if I die, I will. I, I want to go to the heaven, but so Kevin, yes. What do you think God says is the standard for getting into heaven? I know, I know, I know what he's saying, but just um, I haven't been. Uh, uh, outside of golf for, for, for time, you know. You haven't been following him for a while. No, I've been being in, in, in touch and talking yeah. with him. But I used to talk with him a lot. So I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I start like be honest with you. Like four days ago, three days ago, start talking to him again. Back. And so there's a reason we're standing here. Today. Huh? There's a reason we're standing here today. Oh yeah, nothing is just. Uh, Nothing like, no such thing as a coincidence, right? Nothing is a coincidence. That's what my, my father used to say. Yeah. Yeah. Your I, father I, was a wise man. Yeah. <laughs> my father was Christian. My, well, he is. My mother, too. He's, she's a Christian. Almost my grandpa is a Christian, too. Well, I, 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 I raised being in the church to go to church and, and all that. But I, I got to be honest, I have like time, month that I've been being separate to God, you know? I have good news for you today. Why is it good news? You said you were trying. Yeah. To be right with God? I think to talk to him. Again. Talk to him. So the good news for Kevin today, mm -hmm. and I'll make it quick, okay? Okay. So the good news for Kevin and for me, is, you know, for anybody is you don't have to try. And here's why. The harder you try, the more you're going to fail. And I know that sounds different than what we normally hear in society. Yeah, it sounds but, like that. But the, the awesome thing about God and the awesome thing about the gospel is that it says in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8, 9, and 10 say, and I'm going to paraphrase this, I'm going to kind of simplify it, mm -hmm. says that you, you can't try to be good enough to have a relationship with God. You can't try to talk to God because of your sin. And so what God does is through His grace, He grants you faith through, in Christ so that if you repent and believe the gospel, you can be saved. That doesn't mean there aren't going to be changes in your life, but before you can, before those changes can happen and have any effect on you, God has to save you first. And He tells you to repent and believe the gospel. Recognize that you're a sinner, that you've broken all of God's laws. Recognize that Jesus Christ came and did what you couldn't do. Jesus is, is God in the flesh. Yeah. He came and He lived. Not, he didn't just die on a cross. He lived for 33 years and never sinned. Never broke yeah. one of God's laws. You and I can't go, what, an hour at no, the most? At the maybe, maybe, you know, maybe maybe 15 minutes, depending yeah. on the day. We can't go even that long without sinning. But Jesus did it for 33 years, and then when he died on the cross, not only was he crucified, he suffered the wrath that we deserve. Why? Because God, he wanted, he wanted to save us. Because God loved us enough to, to sacrifice God the Son in our place so that if we would repent and believe the gospel and confess with our mouth and believe in our hearts we we will be saved yeah, that's right. the good news man so don't try believe 
confess your sin to Christ, beg Him to forgive you, and He will, and He's gonna, He'll give you that new heart, and He will change you so that you want to follow Him, not just try, but that you will want to, and that you will. Okay. So, nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, it's always free to visit. Okay. Thank it was you. nice to meet you. Thank you for yeah. stopping for a minute.